historically was a fairly hard boundary, and that is breaking down. Uh, one great example of that is a research we have, Jim Gray, who looked at astronomy and said, boy, there's a lot of data there, and a lot of the advances come in, in proposing something that you can either validate by looking at that data or, or invalidate. And, and, and the health of, uh, of both for senior citizens as well as for patients who uh, stay in the hospitals. So, um, like I said, this is... Put it on the robot, send an email to grandma who lives on the other side of the country. Grandma can log into that robot and play hide-and-go-seek with her granddaughter for 15 minutes. Uh, and what we found was that even though this work often turned out to be non-routine, uh, technolo technological change uh, was starting to, to affect that work as well. And, and I just want to, in our work, there's hundreds of case studies of this happening. What I want to do now is just to give you a flavor of the sort of thing that I'm talking about. So in education, more people signed up for Harvard's online courses in a single year than had attended the actual university. And I came to you and I said, because you're such a nice person, I'll give you a discount. It would only be 50 cents per bite, half price. And not only that, but I'll only charge you for the bites you eat. The bites you don't need to eat, no need to pay. And you'll sit down and I'll serve you your dish and I'll stand back and I'll take my pen down and every bite you take, I'll mark a little note <laughs> in my notebook. And at the end, you'll, change, you'll be charged only 50 cents only for the bites you eat. How much fun will that meal be? And, and, and the health of, uh, of both for senior citizens as well as for patients who uh, stay in the hospitals. So, um, like I said, this is...